I have this reputation of being exceptionally bloodthirsty and <laughs> killing a lot of characters. <laughs> people, people say you're bloodthirsty. And, and uh, I don't think it's entirely true. I, I think we have to fine tune this reputation a little. Um, you know, Star Wars kills more people than I do. I mean, right in the opening of Star Wars, they unleashed the Death Star against the planet Alderaan. Right, but you don't and know who's it, living on Alderaan, exactly, really. Exactly. And you don't know what the stormtroopers look like. It's a statistic. Uh -huh. It's a statistic. It's, oh, well, you know, 30 billion people just died. And then we're on to the next act. But in real life, we suffer when people die. We're afraid of death ourselves. We wonder what's going to come after. When, when we lose a, a parent, a sibling, God help us, a parent loses a child, our best friend died, one of my best friends died last year, the brilliant editor Gardner Dozois. Every one of these was an event that shook me, that made me sad, you know, and I want to have that effect on my readers. I don't want death to be just an act break. Oh, okay, this character you never knew and didn't particularly care about is dead. Let's get on to the next sword fight. I mean, death, Death should mean something. It's along with sex, death, sex, love. These are the most important primal things that define what our life is like here on planet Earth. So it has to be treated with uh, importance. So I try to make you feel the deaths. I don't necessarily have more than any of the people, but I try to make you feel them more. And the other thing is I try to make them unexpected. So it's not necessarily well, yeah. the person you think is going to die. You think Ned is safe because he appears to be the hero, and the hero is always safe, right? The hero doesn't die. Right. The yeah, hero you can't have the hero die. And the hero's girlfriend, no matter how much trouble they get into, um, they somehow survive. You kill people off in completely unexpected ways, well, which makes the death all the more right. shocking. You know, they say you write the books that you want to read, and I, I love unexpected twists and turns. The Red Wedding scene. The Red Wedding, yes. That was the, number one, that was the hardest scene I ever had to write. Well, how so? I, I, I knew it was going to happen, but I couldn't bring myself to write it. It occurs about two-thirds of the way through uh, A Storm of Swords, not right at the end. So when I got to that chapter, I skipped over it, and I wrote all of the post-Red Wedding stuff. And then when the entire book was finished, I went back and wrote The Red Wedding and made myself, uh, made myself do that. What about it? was so hard to actually write? Because you feel for them, or? Yes, those characters are like real to me. I mean, I, I live with them. It's hard to say, I'm, I'm inside their heads. I'm with them through, through their triumphs, through their tragedies. To, uh, I, I carried Rob with me for, I started introducing the character in 91, and I killed him in like 99, so like eight years, this character, and Catelyn had, uh, had been part of my life, so. It's, it's, it's tough. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, emotionally, there's a little part of you, oh, can't you fix it? You're the author. Find some way that he can survive. And uh, no, it has to be done.